Okay, this is a brand new locomotive. I ended up buying three of them from a hobby shop. <clears throat> so this is the Burlington Northern. It's an Atlas Classic RS3. This is road number 4064. So we'll open it up and then take it out of the box and I'll put it on the track and I'll use two hands to do that. Okay, so my Burlington Northern. I love these green engines. So let's put it in reverse first, then we'll see uh, if his lights are working. Yep. This is one of those boards that uh, the lights come on full power, even though it's DC. They come on full power. Well, as you can tell, it's just really quiet. So let's try it in forward. I'm just using my uh, MRC Tech 6. Really quiet. She hasn't been broken in, so you're going to get a little bit of noise as the brush is seat. But again, this is mainly just to see if she's going to run, and she is, so, and I couldn't see a scratch on her looking her over. So I'm just barely putting the power to it. So, good enough. We'll take her apart. We'll do a really short video on this one as we convert it to DCC. Using an MRC, probably a 1622. We'll see which one we use. Okay, there are two configurations that Atlas uses on these RS3s. This is one of them. It's got the uh, smaller flywheels. It's got a little bit more space. You can use the uh, 1622 drop-in. But as you can see, it's got these two capacitors here. And unfortunately, they're so big, even though they're... You know, I got to really hand it to uh, MRC. They basically cut the size down. So they're like five and four centimeters versus what they were before. But they're still too large. So you end up having to take them off. So what I do is I cut, I cut them off just as close to the ends as I can, carefully. Cut the wires off. And I can get right up in there, actually, as you can see. And then I soldered new ones. I had to buy some. Because I don't want to get close to the board. I don't want to desolder out of the board itself. So those are the original solder joints right there. And then I very carefully attach wires, and then I attach those wires to the right size capacitors, as you can see. Then I'm going to have to test it, of course, to make sure that I haven't messed anything up. These don't have it, but it's a nice feature to have because these decoders are going to different types of locomotives. In this case, it's an R3. One, two, three. We'll shut it down. So, that's good. Now we're going to install it, and then we'll have to install the capacitors up underneath here. There's room with these smaller flywheels. If you end up with a big, one of the big flywheels, you can't use this decoder. You have to use a different decoder. And I've got videos out with that different decoder. But I do like the 1622s. And I don't have a problem going to this kind of trouble to, to use them. Because I do like them. They fit in. They don't take up a lot of space. And I can install a speaker right here. A .62 diameter. Almost about a three quarter but it's just a little bit too large. So... It, instead of using a 20 millimeter, I get to use an 18. So we'll continue in a minute. Okay, I've got the speaker mounted on top of the board. Where the capacitors were, I've taken them off and wired directly to the board. 
and then tuck them underneath, as you can see right here, on both ends. So they take the place of these up here, which are too tall, you can't close the cabin. So I am ready now to put this on the track and test it. We'll see how it operates. Okay, got on the track. We'll use the uh, MRC Tech 6. Start it up. Test our sound. Put it forward. Quite works. Ooh. Okay. Back it up. Okay, let's put the shell on it, see what it looks like. Okay, one of the things I've done on this is you can look down the sides of the smokestack. Well, too much shadow, I think, but I've opened it up and then I'll paint it black to keep it looking dirty like it should because these things are really smokers. So we got a shell on it, and I think you'll notice a difference in the sound. Uh, containing the speakers really gives you better sound. And I just noticed that I've got one rail that's out of place. Uh, <laughs> that looks better. I'll finish putting that back in place in a second. So let's start it up. <laughs> so the point two speaker gives a pretty good sound. QSI. I do like him. And it has just basically a very small baffle on it. So we're in reverse. Turn on our lights. What I like about these is throttle back and it does just like a regular, the real thing. It coasts until it needs more power and it automatically puts the fire back on. So we'll put it back and forward. You can see the headlights are fairly bright. They have that golden tone to them. I love it. Again, this is just with the uh, MRC Tech 6. Once you get to the code, you get to very squeal, a lot of other sounds with it. You can control your volume. So that's probably pretty much it. Of course, Burlington Northern, uh, now Burlington Northern Santa Fe with a uh, conglomerate of other railroads that came together.
So it runs good, I'm pleased with it. Uh, the end rails are in the box, I haven't put them on yet. I'll stick those things on and we'll pretty much do any comments to look forward to them. I hope uh, some of this is educational for somebody who might want to take a chance and go ahead and do one of these uh, conversions. I think it's really worthwhile. I love the sound and I like these MRC decoders. And again, this is an MRC 1622. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Okay, so she's done. I've got her rails on her. As you can see. And I've installed the KD Magnematic uh, the scale couplers, 158s. These things come with some really, they either come with uh, some McHenry couplers or they come with some really cheesy ones. This one came with some cheesy ones. So let's start it up just one last time. Put in reverse. Let them know we're coming. Turn on a light or two. Again, it's the MRC 1622 decoder. Put her in forward. A really nice low speed. So that's gonna be it. I'm gonna put this on eBay. And it's the 27th of April 2013. So if you're looking at this much later, it's probably gone. But I do like these things. So, time to put it to bed. Again with the uh, Tech 6, just hit the number 8 three times. One, two, three. And it shuts her down. So thanks for watching. And happy rail fanning.